May God bless your house. Hello. Hello. Woo. It has been a while since I've been in front of the camera like this. I was in Tasmania for a couple of weeks on a family holiday. Incredible, I did shoot a whole bunch of videos, but I've got a whole bunch of gear that was sent to me by various companies that I really need to catch up on. Um, specifically, this one today, we're gonna to be talking about the Ulanzi um, wide angle or the fisheye lens, macro lens, and this travel case for your DJI Osmo Act. For your DJI Osmo action. Um, I'm also going to give you some creative ways that you can apply these lenses. All right, let's get into it. What's going on guys? My name is Jason Morris. Today we're going to talk about the fisheye lens, the macro lens, and that travel case by Yulanzi for your DJI Osmo action. Now, I'm gonna give you a whole bunch of different creative ways that you can apply these to your videos or even photos. Now, they are specialty lenses, which pretty much means that you won't be using them all the time, most definitely not. There will be certain times uh, and, and circumstances that you will need to bring these out and gives you that different creative style. So, the first creative style we're gonna talk about using the fisheye lens is actually going to be a little bit of a comedy style one. I've seen these in a couple of videos before of movies or films. Um, namely, there's one with Hitch when they use this thing as uh, the door uh, viewfinder thing that you look through the door and see someone outside. They've used that in Hitch. Like just down, just in this area that I just know but this is definitely one creative way of doing this. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of a skit and this is how I applied it to my video. May God bless your house. Hello. Also, there is another creative way that you can use this and you can essentially make it look like a fly or a bug that's trying to fly around and uh, land on the food. Like this video that I made yesterday, right here. So you can see that it is a very, very uh, fish eye. You can see a whole bunch of vignetting around the side, so it's only gonna capture the middle bit. That's why it is a little bit more of a specialty lens, and you wouldn't necessarily use this all the time. Now these are two different videos um, that you can use this. There are a whole bunch of other styles that you can try, um, but specifically, these two I thought that were significant and how I would possibly apply it. Uh, if you are making some short films or skits, these are fantastic for that. Uh, you can even put it in, say, the fridge or something and have it make it look like a cockroach or a bug inside the fridge or on the ground, something like that, or a rodent. Um, there are a whole bunch of different creative ways, but these are just a couple of different uh, scenarios that you know could give you a bit of an idea of how you could use this lens.
Now the one big thing about why you would use the macro lens is that pretty much you're going to get like just closer up footage of something. So essentially uh, your standard uh, focal range or minimum focusing distance is um, a certain point. This allows you to get a little bit closer to the subject with your DJI Osmo action. Yes, you might actually have some macro lenses for your film cameras, digital cameras, whatever. Um, but if you don't have that and you've only got your Osmo action, perfect, this lens uh, is for you. Obviously you can get some more detailed shots. Um, it can actually throw the background out a little bit because it does change uh, the focusing distance and the closer you are to the subject, the more uh, background blur you're going to have. So these lenses do come in a nice sort of tin case. Um, they are singly uh, packed, uh, which is fantastic. It is a nice foam insert there. And these lenses also have that lens protector on the front as well, which is fantastic because if you do want to leave it on the Osmo Action, you can just chuck that lens protector on and you know away you go. Now in terms of weather sealing, it doesn't seem to have a rubber gasket around. Uh, the inside, uh, so I wouldn't suggest taking it uh, in through water, definitely not. Um, you will be using this in dry situations. In terms of rain and stuff, I wouldn't be confident using it in rain. It is probably splash proof to an extent, um, but that's pretty much the knowledge that I've got there. So um, just be careful when you do use these uh, with wet uh, situations. So now these travel cases are obviously fantastic because all you need to do is chuck this directly over your Osmo Action and you've got a little bit of an access port for uh, the legs or the finger mount at the bottom to poke out, unzip it, pull it out and away you go. Um, so it is very nice just to sort of protect the Osmo Action if you want to protect it like that. Um, like I said, when I went to Tasmania, I did just keep my Osmo Action in my pocket. Um, I had like cargo pants sort of thing, chucked it in one of those pockets um, and just away you go. I wanted it to be really quick and easy access if I wanted to whip it out and start using it. Um, this thing would have made it a little bit more uh, protected in my pocket. Uh, even if you want to throw it in your travel bag or something, you know, throw it in. You just know that it's going to be a little bit more protected than it would on its own. So that is a quick video from me guys. Watch out for my Tasmania travel film. That will be coming. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell notification so you can be notified when that video comes out and other videos come out. I've got a whole bunch of videos lined up that I really, really need to crack into. Uh, it's, timing is just difficult, obviously with the new bub, uh, uni is back, work. Uh, clients as well for photography and videography. It's just things are a bit hectic. YouTube is taking a little bit of a hit, but I'm really, really trying to uh, stay up late at night and create some epic content for you guys. Uh, please like this video if you could. Uh, that would be absolutely amazing. Comment below if you have any uh, comments or questions about these products. Guys, my name's Jason Morris, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, let's get it. So if you are looking to get these products, the link is in the description below. I am not affiliated with these companies at all, but they are affiliate links. Uh, so if you do purchase these items, I will get a little bit of a kickback from Amazon. Um, and it does help out my channel because pretty much all the money I make off YouTube and Amazon affiliate links, I put directly into the channel.